Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're in a brand new world that like, I just created. Yep. Um, uh, game rule do daylight cycle false. There we go. Um, so I figured, given last week's episode, episode the video, I spoke about a couple of farms, but I didn't give tutorials. And I've thought since then, and I'm like, well, that's just stupid. So, here I am giving a tutorial for the dungeon farm. The dungeon XP farm that I showed. Oh, I have the hiccups. This is horrible to record. Um, so yeah, the dungeon XP farm that I showed. This is a fucking cool ass cave. I would love to build a house here. And it's next to a ravine. Next to a mine shaft. This is actually a really good seed. If you guys want to use this, the seeds that which we do actually need um, I'll make sure I have the seed in the description but um, yes so the first step to creating this farm is to go to Google make sure we go chunk base chunk base minecraft apps apps and we want dungeon there's many others, we'll use a couple of others in other episodes. But you paste your seed into there. Um, zoom back in. And then you put your coordinates in there. So our coordinates are minus 170, 113. Minus 170, 113. Minus 170. Tab 113. Go. And boom, we're right next to a skeleton spawner. Um, so then what you do is you then find it, minus 230.106, minus 230.106, wrong way, so minus 230, <laughs> oh, I'm dying, what is up with me today, so theoretically it, it'll be in this chunk here. Because that's how chunk base works, it bases it off the chunks. Because I don't want to have to go mining, slash locate. Oh, that doesn't work? Never mind. Game mode, yes. Just make life a little easier. Because then we can go into here and we can actually see. Boom, there it is. So typically you would have to do a bit of looking around. There we go. Took a little bit. But yep, boom, we just saw some skeletons spawn in. Couple of good music discs, damn. So, what you want to do now... Cool. So make sure you've got three blocks above, which we have. Then you want to go for. Let's just make it. Um, yeah, uh, no difficulty. For the time being, we'll make it that. So you want to go have four blocks in this direction. So one, two, three, four. Four in this direction. One, two, three, four. And four in this direction. One, two, three, four. Then you just mine all this out, block off unwanted tunnels that branch off it. And did I go? In? I didn't go in all directions. Oh, my lunch is ready. Well, my lunch isn't ready. My lunch is about to be ready. Um. So yeah, you clear all this out. Boom, boom, boom. Like so. And the top layer, because I just remembered it needs to be three high, not too high. As I said before, blocking areas off. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. 
So that's what this should look like. And then you get rid of the chests. Now, you go seven down. Well, let, let, let's say six down. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you, then you want to find corners. So let's say this corner. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me just one, two, three, four, five, six. Because this is where you put your water. Then we remove this. Let me just give you the corners. So then here you go down seven. So one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> Sorry. So that's sort of the frame you want. Six there, six there. Water in each of these corners. 7-7, seven, seven. when I come back after turning my lunch, I'll, um, give you the rest. I just realised my headset was only over one ear. So yes, you want to clear this out. Let, let me clear down this layer here. Boom, 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 boom. So I'm just going to go into each of the corners. So now that you've done that, you want to get rid of all of these blocks in the centre here, and all of the blocks above it, up until the spawner. So welcome back. I've removed all. Also, one thing, wait, did I? I made the roof one too low. Okay, well, I'm going to fix this. Make sure that the roof is three high. Um, but I've brought you back, and there are still blocks down below, and that's because the next step is a little bit tricky, because it's not just straightforward. Oh, some gold. We are quite low. This is probably one of the lowest spawners I've found. There we go. So, for again, you then want three like that, just so they can't spawn on here and get stuck. But down here is where it gets confusing. So what you want to do is, well, I'm I'll remove these blocks, just like this, so you can see sort of what happens. Um, if it works, it may not. Yeah, there we go. can see here that if a skeleton was to spawn it would get pushed all the way to here and then just wander around. So what you want to do is you want to remove all these blocks and well, yeah, you want to remove all these blocks and then you want to come to these ones here and just remove the one that it's lasting on. So that way it will flow all the way to the end drop down here. Then you want to find the center point which you can either tell by looking at where the water meets or where the spawner is or where this is. So because this is the center block here you can just go forward and find that they need to go down that way. Then what you want to do that's a box of cookies. Then you want to take this. You can take this as far as you like but you're gonna run out of water. So, you want to get yourself some soul sand, and a water bucket, <coughs> and some signs, sorry, some signs. Then what you want to do, is you'll place the signs here, the soul sand there, and you want to go up 22, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Then you want to remove all these blocks as well. Boom. Not that one. That one stays. Put signs all the way up here.
a lot more blocks than I thought. Because then what it means is typically, if you just had blocks here, one, two, they get in the water but then they're stuck. But put it like this, they get in the water even slightly, just slightly. They get taken up. So they fall down, get pushed into here, the next one comes along, nudges it, and it goes up. So then you want to send this all the way up. You can either make 22 water buckets and do it in one trip, or make one and do it in 22 trips. But once you're here, you want to go up two more. Place a water bucket there. Make sure that that's blocked off. Then do that. Maybe not do it in that direction where there's a cave. Do it in this direction where there's also a cave, but the cave's up. Because then you want to send them back down. So, and you want to send them down on the opposite corner to where this water's coming from. Because when they come up come up and get pushed over here if they let me down if they come up just barely on the side they'll still get nudged into this corner so then I'm just gonna put place them there I'm gonna go down 22 so one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 should find this here yet so this is where you want them to land so you want to get a slab uh, hoppers but with two peas and a chest so then place your chest you place your hopper and you place a block there this is the best design for a zombie um, spawner because baby zombies exist and it means that you can just um, let me get something that won't destroy that it means you can just whack away at them for skeletons I would actually suggest um, opening it up a bit so like that just so you've got a bit more room but it also means Um, it also means you can, like, place dogs around, because dogs are aggro towards skeletons. So, uh, well, well, wolves. But yeah, that's it. So, let me just drop this back down. Then, if you stand here, because you are in range of the spawner, it'll activate. See, it's glowing there. Um, it'll activate while you're standing there. So if we go, let's just make it hard to demonstrate. Boom, a bunch of skeletons just spawned. You can see up on my map at the top. They're all going to get nudged up. And then they'll fall down with, theoretically, half a heart of damage. Oh, half a heart remaining. Unless they're all stuck. No, just one. Oh. Yeah, this would help. Uh, something else that would help would be a sign. See, so yeah, it makes sure you've got a sign up the top. That just gets them to fall. Boom. So this thing. So now, any ones that fall, and see, like, we already got bones, arrows. Um, get looting three. On hard mode, you'll get a lot of enchanted bows and actually a lot of armor as well. Meaning you'd want a lot, if you're going to AFK, you want a lot of um, stuff here. See, one tap. 
you got an AFK, you want a lot of hoppers and a lot of chests. Boom. So. So that concludes this. So this room is 9 by 9 by, let's actually figure it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 9 by 9 by 11. So yeah. 9 by 9 by 11 room with that in the center, 3 blocks on top. Then you want to take them up. Uh, if you are on hard mode, you might want to. No, you don't want to take them up any higher, actually. Because, yeah, that. An issue with this is. Um, them falling out. Because they might always move to the side before they get to the top. But, um. <clears throat> See, so, yeah, like, boom, we just got two swords, I think. Oh, no. Two swords. It's gonna two bows, but it doesn't seem like it. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. There is not enough room here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This has been um, Tutorials with me. That is way too close. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry. <laughs>